guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the Hacks Launcher. This is by developer R2 Does Inc. Uh, some of you guys may remember him from back in the day when he worked on the OMGB ROM. Uh, I know that I ran that particular ROM on my Droid X and on several other devices, so it was a very stable, awesome ROM. Since OMGB, he's been working on all kinds of awesome applications, and this is one of his best. So this is the Hacks Launcher. If you want to give your phone a totally unique, a totally new look and feel, uh, then this is the launcher for you. This is unlike any other launcher that I have seen. So uh, to get started here, we'll click on the little start button here. Now it seems to be inspired by Windows Phone 8 without losing any of its Android swag. So you can see the nice big font, the big text, and then you also have the live panels here. Uh, these would be just your favorite applications. The way that you would populate this list is you would go into your app drawer and you would pick an app, whatever the app may be, drag that onto your home screen, and then drag that app into the bar. Now when you click on the start button, it's going to show up in your favorites list. Now you can remove these pretty simply just by swiping them away, like such. Uh, and then the bar on the bottom there, that's your recent application. So whenever you reboot your phone, that's going to be totally empty. The moment you begin to open up applications, they will populate on that bottom bar. If you have root on your phone, if your phone is rooted, you'll be able just to swipe these away, like so up or down and whenever you open them they'll show back up like so so it kind of learns you as well like uh, it'll put down not only some of your most recent but also some of your favorites so as you use the launcher it'll have those for quick access at all times so that you don't even have to bring up the start button uh, so some other functionality in this launcher if we go into settings uh, and then we go into launcher settings. You have this live panels option. So if we go into live panels, uh, you'll see the simple weather plugin. And the way you find that is just head into the Play Store. You can search for the Hacks Launcher. And then just scroll down to More by R2 Does Inc. His simple plugins will show up. You have one for weather and one for music. The cool thing about the plugin live panels is that they are open source. So you can actually head to his XDA thread and he has an awesome tutorial on how to develop the live panels for his launcher. So if you want to make a live panel for any application, you can simply and easily do that following his guide. Uh, so that's one of the cool things about this launcher is that it's kind of a community thing. So the hope is is that the launcher will take off and more and more developers will become involved and we'll have all kinds of live panels that we can use with this launcher. Uh, it is kind of in its infancy, it's in its beta. So I'll show you the simple weather widget. I actually just talked to R2Does Inc. and he did say that he has a fix for that panel. If you go ahead and enable it now, it won't do anything. But he has the fix that's already ready, he just has to push the update. So by the time you see this video, it will have been updated and you will be able to use this. Uh, but you would just click that and click enable like it is there. And this panel will show up right, it'll show up right here. Um, and then there's another function here you can go into search. And this would just be your standard Google search. Uh, you will notice that this launcher is very fast. And if you bring your start menu down, you can use it just like Android, uh, whatever, you know, any other launcher. And it is pretty quick. And of course, if you go through your app drawer, just as fast as any other launcher. It doesn't lag and it doesn't slow down your phone in any way. It just adds some unique style and some extra functionality. You can also access some quick toggles. Uh, here from the settings. You can go into your system settings and access all of your normal system settings as well. If we go back into the launcher settings, uh, you have home screen settings, menu settings, drawer settings, dock and icon settings as well. You also have push notifications. So whenever updates are released for this launcher and for the live panels, you can be notified that the update has occurred. Also under the preferences, you can go to advanced and enable root permissions and that will make the swiping away the apps, uh, your recents, whenever you swipe those away, it'll make it a little easier on the Android system. R2 does Inc. makes it very easy to go back to your standard Android launcher. Uh, if for some reason you don't want to continue using this, you don't have to uninstall it or anything, you can just go to the set default launcher and you can set your normal launcher as the launcher. But I kind of like Hacks Launcher, so I'm actually going to keep it for now. 
Okay guys, that is pretty much all for the Hacks Launcher. You'll want to be sure to check out DroidMotorX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Grab this launcher from the Play Store. You can simply search Hacks Launcher or R2 Does Inc. and you will be able to find it. Uh, be sure to follow him on Twitter as well and give him a big shout out. That's R2 Does Inc. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.